Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to tie up a classic Parachute Adams pattern. I'm going to make it a little bit different than the traditional recipe, but it's something I've had a lot of success with and it makes it just a little bit easier in my opinion to tie. So without further ado, we'll get started. For the hook we're going to be using the ML052. We're going to tie this on a size 14 today. This is my go-to size in most of my streams and on the river here locally. You can tie this anywhere from a size 10, 12 all the way up into a size 20, 22 or smaller if you can. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Get my hook and get it set in the vise here. Okay, for my thread, I'm going to be using Semperfly Classic Wax in the steel color. And this is on my Norvice, it's the automatic bobbin. This is an amazing product here. So I'm just going to start my thread about three quarters of the way. I'm going to take and build my body first. I know this is a little bit backwards, but just bear with me. This is the way I like to do it. I'm going to start roughly where I'm going to tie in my post anyways, and that's why I start there. So I know where my post is going to be tied in. So I'm going to go to the bend. I'm going to leave that tag end of thread there. For my tail, instead of hackle fibers, I'm just going to use this Rust Hens um, Micro Fibbit. Okay? And I want four of these for these larger sizes. If it's a smaller size, I'm just going to use two of them. But we're going to do four for this size. I want to keep my tips relatively even. Okay, so I snipped that out of there. Now I've got my micro fibbit. I'm going to measure that out. I want this to be roughly the length of my hook shank. Okay, if it's going to be a little off, I'm going to make sure it's a little bit long. I'll give that two wraps over the top. Let's make sure that slides over the top of that. Now I'm going to pull my micro fibbits up and I want to splay them out with my thumb. I'm just going to kind of separate them with my thumb there. Now I can pull that through to make sure that I keep them separated. And I can play with those just a little bit. Okay, now I've pulled that through. I've locked it in. I'm just going to go ahead and trim this out. And I want this to trim out where I'm going to finish wrapping my body. Okay. Now we're just going to cover that up. I want to make sure I keep a nice smooth underbody here. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my tie-in point here. Okay. Now I'm going to go underneath one time. And that's just going to help push up my tail fibers, okay? I want these tail fibers to poke up just a little bit instead of coming straight out. For, <clears throat> for the body, we're going to be using Nature Spirit Turkey Quill Muskrat Gray, okay? And on this size 14, I'm going to pull from this side here, okay? This is a little bit fatter side. So on my smaller sizes, I'm going to pull from this side, okay? And that's going to give me a nice good taper to this body. 
So pull that off. Now it's good if you <laughs> prep these ahead of time, put them in a paper towel, a damp paper towel or a little small glass of water that's gonna dampen these up. Because they're fairly brittle if they're not. So you can see this piece that I peeled off, that's gonna point down, okay? So I'm gonna tie this in right here. With a fairly loose wrap, now I'm gonna tighten it down, cover it up. Now I'm gonna create a small little taper to this fly with a nice little thread base here. Just moving back and forth. And I don't need a huge taper, but I want a small taper so this bug has a small amount of body to it. I'm gonna half hitch that right there so I can use my rotary feature. So I'm gonna take my hackle plier and I'm gonna start wrapping this by hand the first wrap. And then I'm gonna take my Norvice rotary feature and I'm gonna take and wrap this so that I can get a nice even taper to my body. And I'm just covering up the um, darker side of this by it as I go and that's gonna help me create my taper to this body. Okay. So we'll just wrap that up to there. Now we'll go in and we're gonna tie this off. So again, I just wrapped this body basically right up to my tie-in point for my wing. Take and tighten that down just a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna use some orange for high-vis post, high float fibers, okay? You can see that one's kind of been used, ratted up a little bit. Lots of good fibers in there. So I'm gonna take one strand out, I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna clip it. I'm gonna make sure I clip it long so that I can trim it up when I'm done, okay? So now I'm gonna lay this flat across the hook. I'm just gonna go over the top a couple times. If I need to, I can kind of slide it into place. That's pretty good right there. So now I'm just gonna kind of stand that post up with a couple wraps on both sides. Now I'm just going to take and wrap up this post, okay? And I can't pull too tight or else you'll see, like you noticed, it went like that. It just goes right off the top. So when I pull tight, I want to grab this post. I have a tendency to go a little higher than I'd like usually because you don't want it to go up too high okay just enough to wrap that up so you can see we've got a nice body on that okay nice segment now we're gonna tie in our hackle like I said before, I'm going to be using a Grizzly Coachman Brown by Whiting. Okay, so I've already prepped my feather. And I always tie this in with the shiny side pointing towards me. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I've got a bare stem at the bottom and on the side that's going to wrap first. I want the shiny side down. I'm going to make sure I've got a quarter turn 
on that side I want it to be bare and that's going to help me get a good first clean wrap. Now I'm just going to kind of work this around up that post. Once I get it going I can kind of just hold it and wrap it. I can put some super glue on this post just to harden it up. That's going to make it a little bit easier to take and wrap my hackle and get it bent over so that it wraps nice and good. So <clears throat> for the dubbing on this, boy, where'd my, there it is. The dubbing I'm going to be using is the Semperfly Kapok dubbing. Okay, this is a super, super fine, and I'm going to be using the Adams cover, color. And I don't need a whole lot. You can see I've got just a small little pinch here. And I'm just going to create a nice, nice, super tight little dubbing noodle there. It goes on really, really good. Then I'm just going to wrap my thorax. And this isn't a really bulky fly, it's relatively slim, so even the thorax is pretty slim. You don't want it to build up too much bulk. But I want just a little bit more, so I'll put a little more on there. It's easier to put a little more than <clears throat> try and take it away. So now I'm going to take my hackle, okay? So I need to kind of bend my hackle as I start to wrap it so that that stem kind of bends and I can get a good wrap. So I want to bend that hackle down so that stem so it's going to start wrapping nice and easy. And that's why a stiff post is beneficial, okay? Because it's going to be stiff enough that I can take and wrap. Now I'm just going to wrap this each wrap to the previous wrap as I wrap it down. I'm going to wrap this all the way down into that thorax. Okay, I want to make sure I don't have any empty space between them. So I'm going to go one and two. And so when I'm doing this, I'm actually going over the top of that, okay, twice. Now I'm going to take, and I'm going to wrap around it a third time, but I'm going to go underneath of it just to help push and lock that in really, really good. Okay, now I'm going to take my scissors and trim that hackle out so that we don't have to deal with it anymore. Okay, now I'm going to take some super glue. My lid, it's uh, dried up on me. So I'm just going to take and get a small little dab of super glue. And put it on that thread. Okay. Now I'm just going to wrap this underneath all those hackle fibers. Okay, so I got about two, three wraps underneath. Then I'm going to take my whip finish tool. I'm going to clip that off, snip it off there. And we're good to go. All I've got to do is trim my post. I trim mine at an angle and trim it any way you want. Okay, and that's our parachute atoms. Okay, you can see our tail has nice shape to it. Okay. 
that by it's going to give it a nice segmentation to its body. So I want to thank you for watching tonight and you guys have a wonderful day. It looks like I do have one hackle fiber down here. We can just go and trim that out so that it's out of the way. So you guys have a great night. Make sure and hit the subscribe button, then the bell, and hit all so you can receive all notifications from us. And don't forget to hit thumbs up and comment on our posts.